My research then led me to looking at how the dress code policies affect different populations of students. Um, so this particularly particular study focused on how dress codes criminalize males and sexualize females of color and how these dress codes are really impacting these students. So it took place at one urban high school. Um, there were 384 students and 13 teachers that were surveyed as part of this study. And their goal was really to, to find out the different impacts, to find out what uh, how often certain students were getting coded, as I called it, um, getting dress code violations, and how often other students were not. So then they they split that up and figured out what ethnicities and what uh, populations were having the most problems with the dress code. And when they actually uh, presented this information to the public and showed how the dress codes very adversely affect students of color over white students, um, the community then set up a task force to then combat these types of things. So the dress code is is very impactful. It has a huge impact on students and their daily life. And even something as, as what would seem as small as a physical education uniform is having all these different effects on different students and on their learning process. And really, we should be focusing on student learning rather than on dress code policies. So this, this research helped uh, promote further research on how these dress codes adversely affect students and to examine the surrounding areas.